Hello Internet, welcome to The Collective Arcana, a channel all about tabletop gaming. Today we're going to start a new series called Craft Around Galarian. If you've watched this channel before, you may know that we play in a homebrew world. Um, Why is the DM, I'm a player. Um, but as we have gotten, you know, books and expansions and stuff for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, we have started to get very curious about Galarian. Um, it looks like a lot of fun stuff in there, a lot of lore we don't know and we want to learn. So I thought I'd start this series and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to learn about the setting while also building some terrain to uh, <laughs> use in our own games. So for this first video, I'm going to let the dice decide what we're going to talk about. There's just so much material to cover. I don't think there's a good place to start, so let's just get the Gods of Magic book out since this is probably the reason we're doing these videos in the first place, because that book is so good. I was so interested as soon as I opened it, so um, I'm going to take 2d10 and I'm going to just roll for page numbers. I'll come up with a better system later, but that's what we'll do for this first video. And then the second video, I've actually already gotten a request in our YouTube membership group. So that'll be our second video, and then we'll just kind of go from there. The idea is that we'll just take a subject and craft something related. It won't be a tutorial, but something to watch. So, 38. So, page 38 brings us to Phrasma, Lady of the Graves. I think that's a, a lovely introduction to this series. She looks awesome. So I'm going to do my research, I'm gonna read up on her, and, and let's craft something really cool to serve the Lady of the Graves. Phrasma, also known as Lady of Graves, is a neutral goddess of birth, death, fate, prophecy, and time. She's depicted to be an ash-skinned woman with white eyes and wild flowing hair. She wears dark robes and holds an hourglass filled with red sand. You'll find her in the Boneyard Realm, which is also known as Purgatory or Spirelands. And this is where the souls of dead mortals go to be judged by Phrasma. This is really a perfect place to kick off the series because she's this timeless being. There's no record or memory of a time before her, even from other gods. She's kind of a big deal. In fact, she may be the oldest being in creation since she was the sole survivor of the previous universe. It said she willed most of existence into being, including the Outer Sphere and the Eight Earliest Gods. She and Yogg-Sothoth initiated the Age of Creation. She observes the birth, life, and death of every soul, so her worshippers may be midwives, physicians, prophets, or adventurers who flirt with death regularly. Those who misunderstand her purpose might see her more like a Grim Reaper type figure and kind of fear her. One psychopomp usher is her daughter, Tropos, who is rumored to be in training to take over her place when the multiverse ends. Psychopomps are her servants. They guide newly dead souls to her judgment, and then to their afterlife plane according to her ruling. She can see forward and backward through time as well as all possible fates for a soul. But the mortals' free will and choices help her decide where their afterlife will be spent. Her word is the metaphysical nail in the coffin. Once a soul is judged by Phrasma, it can no longer be returned to the body by magic. Of course, she has the power to allow it, but she's brutally neutral, so you won't likely have any luck tugging at her heartstrings. She serves the natural cycle of life and death. That said, she has no tolerance for those who create undead or use magic to trap souls. Her followers are instructed to destroy such abominations and to free any bound souls they may come across. This is a problem thanks to Orgothoa's escape from the Boneyard when she returned to the Material Plane and brought Undead with her, but that's another story. Sure, she may seem a little spooky, but her followers know she's not there to punish you, unless you deserve it, of course. But she's there to simply guide souls. Her followers wear black during many rituals, but they also wear bright colors of blue and silver and purple day to day. You may see her followers blessing newborns and praying over the dying. I will say, though, most of her temples are these, like, gothic cathedrals, so maybe that has something to do with why people are creeped out by her. Her temples are often found close to a graveyard, but she doesn't require an elaborate shrine for worship. Something as simple as a stone works just as well. Still, being entombed in the catacombs beneath the cathedrals is thought to bring favor from Phrasma. 
You may also see her followers during harvest feasts during the ritual known as the procession of forgotten souls. The priests wear thin white robes and ask for asthma not to take their souls yet, and they stand in silence. Then they enter a body of water, usually a fountain, and they carry lit candles, which are snuffed out as they go underneath. When they emerge, the candles miraculously relight themselves, and their thin robes become transparent from being wet, which reveals the festival colors underneath. She does have some organized groups, such as the Voices of the Spire, which is a militant group devoted to getting rid of the undead. Then there's also the Ferasmin Penitents, which is an extremist group who seeks out those who does things like arcane magic to make their lives easier, because apparently that's against Ferasmus' plans. Last, we have a group that I can't pronounce, but I'm going to say Casarmetsas, which is a church of skilled midwives who work to keep both mother and child alive during dire circumstances in childbirth. She knows most fates, but the death of a rodent, first of the ascended gods, was not prophesied by Phrasma, which caused some of her followers to lose faith or even go mad. Because of this, her reputation for prophecy weakened, but this had no effect on her domain over birth, life, and death. Legends say she knew of his death, but chose not to tell her followers for some mysterious and unknown reason. For our scene today, we are building Phrasma's court in the boneyard realm of the outer sphere, where mortal souls are judged. It rests atop Phrasma's spire, jutting out from the axis into the astral plane. Souls are brought to the boneyard by the river of souls, and then after they're judged, they then get sent to whatever plane they deserved based on their actions in life. Thanks for crafting around Galarian with me. I hope you'll come back for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. We'll see you next time.